Hi everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and as promised today we're going to do another video on some flowers that um, I had kind of promised that I would do. I got my, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> goodness gracious, I am a little bit under the weather you guys. Um, so today was the day I decided to uh, do some videoing. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead. I'm not so terribly bad that I can't do a video. So um, these are the flowers that I have already done. And I've been getting a lot of requests to do some of the satin flowers that I'm showing you here. Um, <coughs> goodness. These are the flowers that I did in my other video, and I actually did a couple more of them. I cannot believe how beautiful these flowers are coming out. So these two are a couple of other ones that I did. Look at how gorgeous they are, you guys. They are just stunning. And this is one that I did in the video. And this is another one that I did with half inch ribbon. So it's a little different kind of a flower. But look at how pretty that came out. I think, I feel like I want to put some stamens in the center of this one. So I think I will be adding to that. And then uh, this is some wine colored organza that I got that I made this rose out of. Isn't it gorgeous, you guys? Oh my gosh, I love the color. And um, so I will be making more of these and that's going to be kind of a focus for me right now because I want to get some of these in my Etsy shop um, for sale so that you guys can use them in your projects if you want. Uh, because they are very awesome flowers for your memory boxes and things like that. So. Um, these are some of the other colors that I have. I got a pale, pale, pale pink, and this is pink, you guys. Um, you may not be able to see that here, but if I show you this one, this is an ivory color. So you can see there's a difference in the colors if I put the two together. So I got pink, I got ivory, I got this, um, it's like a taupe color. These are make amazing flowers to put as like when you put um, taupe flowers and uh, cream colored flowers together oh my word you guys they look amazing I have just a little bit of that red satin um, ribbon still left I've got some fall color this is like a burnt orange and this makes pretty roses too and then I just have some of the, uh, the stuff that I've already used. And I started cutting up some purple organza. And this is just the half inch organza. Um, but I did figure out that we can make flowers out of the half inch ribbon. So that is what I made that little flower out of. This one here, it's just a half inch um, satin ribbon. So, and it came out gorgeous. Look at how it burned and everything. And what I started doing, you guys, is I did start using a candle to burn the edges. In fact, I need to go get my candle real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my, my candle lit here. We are going to do a couple over the candle just because I want you guys to see. Here I've got a can of butane sitting right next to that candle. Whoa! Whoa! That's scary. Um, so anyway, um, I've got a cord there. We don't want to burn anything here. Okay, um, I was using one of these. And unfortunately, you can't just continuously burn and burn and burn to do this many petals times, you know, 20 and think this is going to last because it's not. And the thing is, is I tried to refill it. And for some reason, I'm not getting that to happen. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm putting my, my filler in the wrong spot. I don't know. But I have to figure that out. I'm going to have my husband look at it and see if he can tell me how to get this refilled. So I thought, okay, 
Goodness gracious. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to get him to help me figure that out um, and get that thing filled. But um, I am using my candle, and I did figure out how to get better at using the candle. And here I do have some cream-colored half-inch ribbon as well. I didn't show you guys that one. So we're going to go ahead... And I think first we'll go ahead and make a pink one. Let me go ahead and read the quote for the day. And it says, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. And that is a, a quote by Arthur Ashe. Um, and I think that's a good one. That's a good one to start out our new year in January. Um, starting right where we are and, you know, moving on, you guys. Um... So anyway, oh, I wanted to show you guys real quick. I made this pretty, pretty. This is an ostrich feather. I got it on Timu. And um, I wanted to do some stuff with some feathers. And uh, this one I actually made um, for my friend Deanna because I know she likes feathers. And I was going to make her one out of fabric at one point. But it just got to where that was just so hard for me. My hands weren't working quite right. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make Deanna... An ostrich feather. So Deanna, this one's going to be for you. I added the pretty rhinestones all the way down and it is gorgeous. So this is for you Deanna and this is going to go out with your package. Um, Deanna's done a lot for me. She's sent me a lot of wonderful, wonderful things and been so helpful and such a good friend. And um, I just wanted to do a little something for her. So that is who that is going to and so we've got look at how pretty these burned so I'm just going to show you guys really quick I'm going to put these aside I have a few uh, pieces of the satin that are not burned and I think it's just in this red colored um, ribbon here so we're just going to take, and you guys can see in my other video how I cut these. Now this is a two inch ribbon. This is going to make your big, big, big flowers. Um, and I didn't want to make the really big one today, although these are, these are fairly uh, large flowers as well um, that we're going to be making. But I like to use this little tweezer, this, the little straight tweezers. And... When I'm doing it over the candle, I'm going to put my candle right in front of me here and hold my ribbon just like that. And I'm just going to take it down. The thing is, is when your candle gets down to where it's hard to get your ribbon all the way in there, it makes it a little harder to do it with the candle. So you want your candle to be closer to the top but I can I can get it done like this it's just not as easy so there you have it I've got a nicely burned petal and we'll just do a couple of these while we're here and let's get this one in there and I have to put it and I'm actually uh, touching the edge of this ribbon with the flame you guys and there's another one And uh, by touching the flame, it, it pretty much kind of instantly curls just a little bit. You don't want to hold it on there too long because you're going to get too, too deep of a curl. And you don't want to do that. You just want a nice little um, even curl on that entire edge. And you can see how nicely that curled. So that's how we curl them, you guys. Super easy. I just cut, you know, this, these are about two inch petals. And, um, and then I just round them off, cutting a, several of them at a time and round them off on one edge. And then do the burning and we are ready to go. So that's how you do the burning. And if you want to see how I cut them, you can watch my other video where I did the organza flowers. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my candle out so that I don't burn it down any further. 
and I'm using my pretty grayish um, silicone pad that my friend Kareth sent me. Uh, she sent me a beautiful, beautiful package the other day with some nice uh, goodies in it. And I'm going to be doing a couple of videos to show you guys some of my happy mail that I got recently. I got some really, really nice stuff from um, Sherry and Robin and Kareth and just some really beautiful, beautiful packages. So I will be showing that stuff to you guys. Um, this one, I just kind of got a string and I'm just gonna shred that if I don't cut it off. Okay, um, so let's go ahead. Uh, first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a chain and I'm just getting that ready uh, to be the center of this flower. So the, I kind of like to do that part first and um, what I'm doing with these is on the chain I'm gonna go you can see this straight up and down and I'm going about to the halfway point where I'm adding my glue I found that that is the sort of the sweet spot um, for getting a really nicely formed center to my roses. I'm, I'm going a little bit over to the right, um, but not much. So we'll just continue this and I'll get it to as long as I think I need it. And honestly, if I don't get it long enough, that's okay because I can always add petals um, after the fact. If I feel like it's not long enough, I can add more petals and go around the outside of um, the flower or the center and um, it works just fine and I'm just using my fingers here I was going to use my um, my spatula here but I really don't need it when I'm doing the satin fabric because the glue doesn't really come through um, the front side so it doesn't it's it's not going to burn me so and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is inch and a half ribbon, you guys, just so that you know. This is an inch and a half satin uh, and uh, double sided. You want to do the double sided ribbon, you guys, because then you can also make, I want to try and make a peony style flower uh, using the satin ribbon as well and see how that comes out and so all of the satin ribbon that I have here is double sided so I can make um, different uh, types of flowers so we're gonna put that up here and we're gonna leave that at that we're gonna one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh, eleven petals that I used to make this center and I'm just going to put that to the back right here. And then we're going to start making our layers. And this probably isn't enough petals, but that's okay. I can grab more out of the bag if I need them. So the way that we're going to do this, super easy. We're not even going to um, push these like this in the middle. We're just going to leave them just the way they are, and they come out awesome, you guys. I found that I was kind of wasting some time by um, doing those little folds in the center because it's not necessary. Now you might wanna do that on certain types of flowers if you want them to be a little more sort of ruffly, but I don't want these to be ruffly. I want these to be a smooth, nice smooth rose. And I've seen girls on YouTube that have made these roses and I just, amazed at how gorgeous they come out and so I've been wanting to make them and I've tried a few times and not really come out with the results that I wanted so I just keep trying and trying and I think I finally figured it out and we are going to have some of the most gorgeous roses. I'm going to use eight petals to do this bottom layer 
And then we're just going to put these two together. And this is going to be um, a, quite a big flower. It's going to be a large rose. And that is okay. Because I do want to put, I'm, I'm wanting to put some larger flowers in my shop. Because I know when I'm doing uh, like a memory box or maybe a large journal or something, sometimes you want a nice big flower on the top. And it's hard to get that and get a really nice flower that you really love when you buy um, flowers uh, that are already made. So um, I just decided to go ahead and get better at making my own roses. So that's what we're doing today, you guys. I hope everybody's doing well in the new year. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I've been working and and trying to get videos done, trying to get my channel done, trying to do my giveaway stuff. Um, I've got that almost ready to go, but I did start to feel under we under the weather a couple days ago, and so I've just been kind of taking it easy. This one's a little bit bigger, so we're just gonna. come in and sort of cut that one down. These are terrible scissors that I've got here. They're not terrible scissors. I've just got gunk on them, so they don't cut real well right now. I need to clean them up. Okay, and that one's kind of sticking out a little bit. I don't like that, so we're gonna just twist it a little bit. Like that. <clears throat> So we had eight on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this one's going to be about seven petals. Yeah, that'll work. And we will glue these two together. You guys are just going to, you're going to absolutely love these flowers, I'm telling you. You cannot go wrong with these. So that one's just a little bit smaller, and now we're going to make another layer. I do need some more petals to do this, because I like to do three layers and then my center. So this one will have even fewer petals. Um, I'd like to use really kind of smaller petals on this. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think I'll go one more and we'll do six petals on this one. That one's kind of big. Let's see, this is a little bit smaller. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And these I might even put a little bit closer together like this and kind of overlap them just a little bit more. And make sure I'm turning them enough so that when I get to that sixth petal, even if I had to use another petal, it wouldn't matter. I can still use the same number as I used there if I want. Um, but this one's kind of big, so I'm going to cut this one down. Um, but just get them closer together, you know? So that's that's how we sort of do that. And we wanna twist that one, one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna put one more petal and see if that works. And that's gonna work just fine, but I am going to cut this down a little bit because we want to leave that little hole in the middle. So I'm just going to cut this one down just a little bit and glue these two together like that. But we still have a little hole in the middle so we'll be fine. And try and keep it round as possible so that's pretty good there 
And we have some extra petals here that we'll put back in the bag. And there we go. You guys are going to be amazed. Trust me when I say this. Okay, so here's our bottom layer. So all we need to do is put, whoops, put a layer of glue around that and put our petals between the petals on that bottom layer as best we can. It's not going to be perfect, you guys. No flower is perfect. And then we're going to go to the next layer. And you can see how nice and flat this lays. Well, that's what I like about these roses is that they lay flat. But once they're completed, they because you put that center section, this section is going to change everything. So that's the bottom section of our flower. And look at how beautiful those petals are, you guys. It's just gorgeous. And again, this is the pale pink. Super pretty, and you guys, when I use pink, I love pale pink. The paler, the better. Um, so it's almost, you know, it's almost like a white, but that's the kind of pink that I enjoy working with. And I think that comes from enjoying working with a lot of shabby chic stuff. So the way that I'm going to start this is I'm going to take it from this end, and I am going to sort of fold this petal kind of on top it, of itself and then sort of roll it so that I get like a like a little cup. See how pretty that is? And that's how I like to start them. And you guys trust me when I say I've watched so many videos on making roses that I have not been able to follow and I don't know why, don't ask me why. I am using some of their techniques, but I, I have not been able to get by with using all of their techniques because somehow or another, somewhere along the line, I get messed up and um, I'm just taking these edges from the other side of the petals where it's not glued together and I'm, I'm just kind of gluing those down. In fact, maybe it might be good to just do that now and glue each section down and then I don't have to worry about it. What a great concept, right? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that before. On the organza ones, I tend to cut out um, a section, that section of the petals because you can see through the organza and it doesn't look attractive to have that extra bit of ribbon uh, edge that's on there so I do um, cut those down as I go so now I'm just loosely taking this and rolling it around to create my my bud and this one didn't glue down so we're going to just pop that down just like that and we're just going to keep on adding glue along here until we get our complete center done and this part goes pretty fast once you get used to doing it you can do it pretty fast look at that you guys it's just all coming together now I mean, it is gorgeous. And we'll keep on going and going. And these petals are falling exactly into just the right position. I'm super happy with how this is coming out. Look at that, you guys. It's just coming out gorgeous. This one, I want to bend back right there. That's the first part of it. And this one, I think I'm going to do the same. And this one, I need to fold in right there. So my husband went to go help a friend 
And so I had some time to myself and thought I would take advantage of it and make a video. And hopefully I didn't just get off camera with what I was just doing. And then when I get to this point, I'm going to look at my flower or my center and I'm going to say, okay, right here I feel like I need another uh, petal. And I'm probably going to do that a couple of times. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go through here and I'm going to put glue across this one. Find my spot here and I'm just going to add it to the outside just like that. And then I think I want one right here. And you could go on and on and on for days adding petals, you guys. Try not to go too far with it. Um, and try to put them on sort of loosely when you're adding these petals. Um, that way you're going to get a good result and they're going to um, stick out um, in the way that you want them to, like that. And I've got one more spot right over here that I feel I need one more petal, and I think we're going to be done. Get enough glue on there, because I think I feel like I'm not getting enough glue on these extra petals here. And that one's going to go... I can see I kind of need two of them there, honestly. And this is where you'll kind of find your edges. Maybe you might have to add a little glue here and there in certain places. Adjust your little rows just like this because you can pull those petals out and kind of down and, and adjust it a little bit. And that is a beautiful center. I still feel like there's one spot here that needs another petal and that is, where where is it? Kind of right over here. So we're going to add just, hopefully just one more petal and we'll be done there. Okay, so I think that's good. I think we've got a good center going on there. It doesn't have to be perfectly round, you guys, because the center is going to go through the, the middle of your flower, and I'm just putting my finger through there to make sure that my hole is open. I'm going to add... Well, let's see if we are going to be able to push this through. And yeah, that's going to go through just perfectly. So I'm going to add some glue around the edge of this. And we're just going to pop the center through and push it down and push on those edges so that the glue adheres to that top rosebud. And this is where you would check it, make sure you've got glue all the way around it and that it's sticking together the way that you want it. And look at that, you guys. We have a gorgeous, gorgeous rose. Look at that. I mean, you, you can't tell me that's not beautiful. You just can't. <laughs> you won't convince me of that. So... I am super happy with this flower and then what I will do um, is I will go back over it I'm gonna I wish I had my big scissors sitting here but I left them in the other room so I'm gonna cut off that little bit on the bottom and then I'm gonna take a piece of felt which I have right over here let me go grab my sheet of felt I've just got white here and I'm going to go get my other scissors. 
Okay, you guys, I have a little stain on this felt here. I think I need to cut that out. It looks terrible. It's probably coffee. Let me cut that off of there so that you guys don't have to look at it. Um, okay, let's just take this corner here. And we're going to need a fairly decent sized circle here. So I'm just going to take... And you guys, I'm not worried about it being perfect, perfectly round. I don't cut perfectly round circles. And yes, I could draw a circle on here with a lid, which is what I probably should be doing. But I'm not. I'm just cutting a circle. And again, if you're making these to use like for corsages or something like that yeah you probably want a more perfect circle but most of these um, that I make are going on projects and nobody's ever going to see the bottom of this so I'm just gonna take that I'm gonna see if I can get this a little less thick on the bottom here That's pretty good. Okay. And I'm just going to take and put plenty of glue on this little felt circle so that it is covered. And we're going to center it and just press it down. Just like that, you guys. And there we have it. One gorgeous pink rose. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay. Okay, let's do another one, you guys. Um, I think I want to do one in this color because this color makes me happy. I don't know why. It just, just makes me happy. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our uh, line across the top, putting our glue at the halfway point. And I'm kind of using the longer ones to do this. That'll give me more to hold on to when I am uh, rolling this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one's not perfect, but it's okay. It's going to get rolled in there. You're not even going to see that. So I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to go ahead and use that one. And I'm going to go with 11 petals, just like that. And pull off my glue strings. And look at how easy that was, you guys. I put those together in under a minute. So we've got that all set and ready to go. Let's see how quickly we can just do one of these flowers, you guys. Um, I'm going to try and use maybe some that are not quite so long for this one, for this section. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We'll go with that. Actually, I think these shorter ones will be better for the top layers. And we'll go that length for this one. One, two, three, four, five. And I will just cut a couple of these down a little bit. Six, seven, and 
8. Okay, and then the next one will be 3, 4, 5. I think we're going to go 6 there. And you, you guys can choose um, however many you, you know you want to put in your layers, however many um, petals you want in your layers is you know it's gonna determine whether it's a fuller rose or a not so full rose. So on the last little layer, um, we're gonna go probably I'm gonna say five, but we're gonna do small, small petals. Three, four, and five. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this going. I'm going to put a few petals back here to add to my uh, rolled section when I get to that. So let's go ahead and let's go for this. All right. Seven. And we are going to put this eighth one on this one. I feel like I need it to make it rounder. So sometimes you'll notice that. You'll notice it might be getting a little bit oblong. You don't want that. So in order to make it a rounder flower, you want to add that extra petal. Um, you might as well. There's no sense in, you know, not making it the way you want it to look um, because you're trying to save a petal or two. It's not worth it because in the long run you want that beautiful flower. I'm sorry you guys, I'm getting some glue off my nails. I wanted to show you guys, I redid my nails because that first set was just a trial and look at how pretty they came out. And a big, big shout out to Robin and a thank you because she gave me these beautiful charms to um, use in my crafts and stuff. I've got my cross on this one and my uh, a bow on this one. We've got a bow here and uh, this is a heart and then the rest of them just have my teeny tiny rhinestones. I need to get me some more of these teeny tiny, like the ultra, ultra, you can barely see them, tiny rhinestones. Um, I've been looking for them on Amazon, and they, they want to sell them to you in groupings where they give you all different sizes. And I do have some of the other sizes, but I've been running around, running out of the teeny tiny ones um, really fast because I really like using the little teeny ones. Okay, so there's our bottom layer. We got that done fairly quickly. Um, I just had to stop and show you guys my nails because they turned out so pretty. I love, 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 love. I did them myself, and I did them, I did them using resin, you guys. I didn't use the stuff, the gel that they tell you to use. I used resin to put these on. So, yeah, they look very pretty. Okay, so this is the middle layer. So let's get this going. Two. Just a little dot of glue will do in the center there. Three. And make sure that you're sort of twisting these so that you're going to get a circle, you guys. Don't put them straight because then you won't get your circle. 
and I'm kind of watching as I go how my circle is looking because I want to make sure I get it again that I get it round and that's six petals on this one and if I glue this one to it we're gonna have a nice round little grouping just like that push it in just a little bit there there we go so that's our middle layer and now our top layer Four. Five. And I am using the same number of petals on this one. I am just putting the petals much closer together because I do like at the top layer, for some reason, I like to have more petals as I go up because it fills it up a little bit more so I sometimes I will add additional petals there and we still got a hole in the middle that we can get through <coughs> and what I can <coughs> can do is I can take this and kind of fold it and sort of cut these edges that are sticking up and cut them off of there to make my hole a little bit bigger and there we go we've got a bigger hole it's a little jagged but that's okay so there's our three layers and our center so here's our first one we're just gonna go ahead and glue our second one down on top putting these petals between the bottom petals. And sometimes I will add petals to the bottom, but this one honestly didn't need a thing. It's perfect just the way it is. So um, that's kind of, I think, the first one that I haven't added anything to the bottom. And I think it's because I added so many to the top um, that it was so nice and full that it really just didn't need anything extra. And the, the times that I will use them on the bottom is if I feel like this is not round. Now this one I kind of feel like it's not super round. So I think I am going to add a couple of petals here. I'm going to put one right here. And I need one right here. Just like that. There we go. And that makes me feel like it's nice and round. And you're going to get your glue strings, you guys. You can work on getting those off of here um, when you're when you're done. So I'm going to set that aside. Now we're going to take our center. We're going to fold it like that. I'm going to fold this little piece back and I'm going to start rolling it just like that. And that's our beginning. And this first section, it's going to be a little tighter. Um, and again, I should have glued those pieces on the back. It's going to be a little bit um, tighter at the at the front or at the middle because obviously you want your uh, your bud in the middle to be tight. 
So I've got that one glued down. We're going to flip this over and glue all of these little sections down. And there we go. All nice and tidy. And pretty quick here, we're going to have two flowers done, you guys. This is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to do the two flowers. And then I'll show you again the other flowers that I made, the organzas. Um, the organza ones are absolutely stunning. I love them. I love the sheen that you get on them. And I love the laciness that you get with the organza flowers. Because um, they just look really lacy and and airy and feminine and they have that that little bit of sheen from the organza ribbon that I love and here we go last petal and that is one tight center and again like I said I knew I would probably want to add a few pieces around the outside of this and this is a very small bud so we're definitely going to add some pieces to the outside so let me just get some of these going on here need one right there and see how about right there and I want one right there I mean you can just see where where you need um, to fill it in and these the way that I'm gluing them on they're laying down more so you can see I'm getting that laying down effect um, and so that's going to make the whole thing sort of fill in that center because these petals are going to lay down on top of the petals on this and you guys don't be afraid to use like this is a top taupe, taupe color don't be afraid to use uh, browns and because the brown um, the brownish from the taupe goes so good with cream colored flowers oh my gosh the two together make a very rich and elegant um, combination and you will not believe how pretty your end uh, result will be if you if you mix those two colors put that one there and I'm gonna get one more to put next to that one and we will be done with the bud okay so there's our center isn't that gorgeous perfect 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 and we've got our center here I'm just gonna kinda get my finger in there and stretch it out a little bit to make sure this one can get through there at least part of it because this is a thick one I feel like I kind of feel like I need to cut this a little bit I don't know if this is going to work but I do need to make a little bit more space here so Let's see if that helps. Oh, that's kind of too small. Um, let's see, what do I have that's nice and big that, well, not that. Maybe these scissors. Yeah. Let's get these and kind of twist them through there. Okay, I think we're good.
as long as I can get the edges down in there and then push it up, we'll be okay. So that's going to work fine. So let's get our glue on here. Making sure we got enough. And pop that right directly in the center. And we want to push it through and then push the sides of the rows up onto that bud that's in the middle. Just like that. And that way we know the two sections are touching. And I'm just getting rid of some of my little glue strings here. And I can see right here I have one little petal that is Where's my, I don't know if this is going to work or not because it, oh, look at that. That was a miracle. I'm just cutting off the little fringe that was on there, or burning off the little fringe that was on that one little petal. Okay, so this is it, you guys. We've got two flowers. Both are absolutely gorgeous. Perfect. I mean, you don't you can't get a rose to look much more perfect than that. And imagine these as corsages or um uh if you could make them smaller and make lapel pins for the guys in a wedding. You know, if your daughter is getting married or your granddaughter or something and they want you to do um, something in the way of the flowers, you could make them these pins and they would be so grateful to have your um, input into their wedding. And to have your beautiful, beautiful corsages and lapel pins and all of that. So let's go ahead. I do need some glue. So I used one glue stick on both of these roses. So that wasn't too, too bad. I thought that I was going to need more, if I'm being honest. Um, I expected to have to use at least a few glue sticks. So this worked out perfectly. So let's get that on the bottom and press it down. And now this one's all nice and ready to go. There we have it. Okay, you guys, so those are those two. And then now you can already see my improvement since I did the red one, although the red one is gorgeous, don't get me wrong. I didn't need centers on these roses at all. Um, and I, I had learned on this organza how to do this. And I was so happy when it worked just as well on the satin ribbon. So, yeah, I was super, super happy about that. So, and then these are the little uh, peony style flowers with the, the petals going upward. And they also are gorgeous. This one's got the petals going up. And I'm going to try that with some of the satin ribbon as well. And then you've got this one that absolutely came out gorgeous. And the color of this one is just fabulous. So, um, yeah, you guys. So those are my, my flowers. I'm going to get some of these into my Etsy sh um, shop. So that if you're interested in buying some, you can do that. Um, and hopefully you learned something today. You can try making your own. Um, they really, really are easy once you get the hang of it. Um, like I said, it took me uh, several tries to get the hang of it, but I finally got it, and I feel confident that I will be making lovely, lovely, lovely roses for years to come um, for whatever reason and project and what have you so look at that thanks a lot you guys you all inspire me so much 
um, you give me confidence in what I do and um, I can't tell you enough how grateful I am to have each and every one of you um, just uh, believing in me and watching my videos and subscribing to the channel. We've almost gotten to 10,000 subscribers. I need about 100 more and we will reach that 10,000 mark and then hopefully YouTube will start really putting me in front of a lot more people. Um, that will be good for me so that when I uh, get to the point where I can retire and do this full time, um, I know that I'm going to be A-OK -okay and earning enough to, um, to cover the bills and all that good stuff. So we're hoping for that. Fingers crossed. Lots of prayers. So get those prayers out for me, you guys. Um, keep inspiring me. Keep watching my videos. And again, thanks so much, everybody, for being here. Thank you to all of you who have been sponsoring my channel, sending me um, supplies to use in my videos. I appreciate you all so, so, so much. And... Um, I wanted to let you all know that Mr. Riker got his gift from all of you. Um, it went to him from all of you, and he wanted to send everybody a great big thank you. Uh, I'm hoping to get uh, another thank you from him um, and to hear from him after his surgery in February. Um, we'll find out how he's doing. I think he's going to do just fine. But keep your prayers going out for Riker. He needs them. Um, so that he can prepare for that surgery he's having in February on his eyes. And um, you guys wouldn't believe just what a complete doll Riker is. He is just a doll. Um, I Sherry mentioned something to me the other day, and she was talking to him, and he was telling his mama he was making some crafts with her, and he said something about um, my channel, and I he wanted to make something like Miss Carol makes, and he called me Aunt Carol. <coughs> I thought that was the sweetest thing ever. He's just a doll. So, Riker, you can call me Aunt Carol anytime you want. And I appreciate that. I just love it. Um, so anyway, y'all, have a great day. God bless you all. I'm going to stop talking now because it's getting to my throat. God bless you. Um, take care of yourselves. Be safe. Be well. Love your families. Hug them often, tell them you love them, and have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for pictures on the back end. Please give this a like and a share and a comment. That helps my channel so much, you guys. You just don't know. So we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. God bless.